Hello and welcome to Vapor Cycle's first video, the introduction. I wanted to bring everyone up to speed on a project so far and also maybe answer some of your questions. If you have some questions that are not covered here, please post them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them. So the first question is, what is this? The project is about building a carbon fiber bicycle using 3D printing. It's been going on for around six years and it all started uh, when I bought a 3D printer in 2015. After printing some trinkets with it, I wanted to build something a bit more real and robust, something I can enjoy every day and hopefully other people too. It seemed like a really wild idea and to prove to myself that it is actually possible, I decided to make a test piece, which is this conical tube. It was, I guess, a rough prototype for a head tube. And I told myself if I can print this, then it should be possible to make the whole bicycle. Being a software guy, I wanted to employ software methodologies, namely Agile, in order to progress rapidly uh, with little resources and get to an MVP. The idea is to test and iterate rapidly based on the test results. A famous example of this is SpaceX with the Starship rocket they're building right now. So why 3D printing? Well, to go with the Agile methodology, it made sense to go with something cheap and widely available. And for these purposes, it's more than accurate enough. And also having a CNC capability gives this project uh, repeatability and automation that it needs to succeed, I feel. Why logs? Uh, it's possible to make commercial style monocoque or semi-monocoque frames, but it would just take too long and it doesn't really help with the rapid iteration. I did make a test piece. Uh, this is a top tube. As you can see, it has a triangular profile and tapers uh, from front to back. But to make molds for one of these, uh, I could actually make four look prototypes in the same time. And I really enjoyed the clean classic look of uh, looked frame. Uh, it also brings the scope of the project down, which helps me to iterate faster. And as well as that, it neatly fits into a normal printer volume. I built a version one last year. It failed and you can see the results of it on my Instagram account, Vapor Cycles. Uh, and I'm in the process of building version two based on the learnings from version one. There are five pieces in total. Uh, I call them the seat joint, head tube joint, fork ends, bottom bracket, and the brake bridge. We have the seat joint ready. The head tube joint also. Uh, the fork ends ready too. And this is a, an attempt at the bottom bracket. As you can see, it has void issues. Uh, so I'm in the process of remaking this right now. To give you some idea on the prototype, it's a fixie track fork end frame with one and one eighth integrated headset. Press fit 30 bottom bracket. It's completely carbon except for the steel inserts here in the fork ends. The top tube is 540 millimeters, which is small to medium size frame. The weight of version one was 655 grams. I'm expecting version two to be heavier, but hopefully not by much. On the schedule, I'm hoping to start testing version two end of January, beginning of February. I've signed up for Velo Berlin bike show, which is happening start of May. And I'm hoping to have two frames ready by then. I will be posting development updates every two weeks through this process and you can expect the next one to be two weeks from this video. Uh, as well as this, I'm going to make a tutorial video on the process so you can make your own carbon pieces, not necessarily bike parts. Until then, if you have any questions, please post them down below and if you're interested in the project, please subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.